Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to either enable or disable the right click functionality on your Windows 7 device. So this should be a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the star menu. And you want to type in group policy. And one of the best matches that comes up right underneath control panel should say edit group policy. You want to left click on that. I'm going to just make this view a little bit bigger here. And now underneath user configuration, the second area here, you want to expand the administrative templates folder by left clicking on the little arrow next to it. And now you want to left click on the all settings folder right here. And you want to scroll down until you get to something that says remove windows explorers default context menu. Right here and you want to double click on it. If you want to disable right click, you want to click on this enable option right here and then you would click on apply and OK. Now if we try right clicking anywhere on the desktop we can see we are not able to right click. Now if you wanted to turn on right clicking we would double click on it and select disabled and then when you click on apply this time if we tried right clicking it would work. So basically you just have to think of these in reverse. So if it's enabled it's not going to work and if it's disabled right clicking will work if that makes sense so it's pretty straightforward once you get past that a lot of stuff with the group policy editor is like that so you have to think in reverse as to what it's actually doing because you can see it says remove windows explorer default context menu you can see it's going to basically by the way it's worded it's going to disable that feature so two negatives essentially but that's pretty much it guys I mean there's not too much more to it and once you click on OK I set it at the disabled position to enable it so we can see my right clicking is working once again so I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial goodbye